Let's get in the magic golf cart, kids. Today we're doing that light dependent reaction. Let's wow. go. Inside a plant we go. There's the chloroplast. Let's go inside. There's the thylakoid in the stroma. The stroma is a very jelly-like substance. Yes. A little stroma ASMR. It even tastes good too. <laughs> Our first stop is going inside the membrane of the thylakoid. Here you have the energy from light photons that are going to directly or indirectly excite electrons. Then those excited electrons will then go from a high energy state to a low energy state. Some of the energy that's released is used to pump hydrogen ions across the membrane. P680 plus eventually just grabs electrons from water and this is such a strong oxidizing agent it can oxidize the oxygen in the water. It grabs its electrons from water and then the water essentially falls apart so you're left just with the oxygen and then the hydrogen ions. So those hydrogen ions also contribute to the increased hydrogen ion concentration on the inside. The excited electrons that move to a lower concentration gradient eventually made their way to photosystem 1. In photosystem 1 you also have another exciting event. The thing that got excited can grab that electron that went lower, lower energy states, and its excited electron can once again be transferred from one molecule to another in order to fuel for NADP plus being converted into NADPH. The whole idea of the hydrogen ion concentration increases is to fuel ATP synthase, which allows us to put phosphate onto ATP and produce ATP. Next is part two, which is the light independent reaction, or also more commonly known as the Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle starts off with six carbon dioxide molecules, then comes the six RUBPs, then 12 ATP and 12 NADPH make 12 ADP and 12 phosphates, which is 12 NADP+. You have 12 pegols, and you take two pegols away, which makes glucose. Then you have your hydrogen molecule, and you have your 10 leftover pegols. Then you get six RBPs and six ATPs. Six ATP are six ADPs plus six phosphates. Finish our cycle by going back to the last six RUBPs and it ends the Calvin cycle, then it repeats all over again.